Hello, it is time for a monthly market update. And so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. I want to show you what's been going on in the Charleston market. So what you're looking at right now is our market monitor and our April stats have just posted. So we can go ahead and compare that to last month and previous years. And so um, I have pulled up the sales price, the average sales price. So you can see right now, the average sales prices for the entire Charleston MLS is 585.5. Somerville is just under 400. Mount Pleasant is just under 900. And as an example for a coastal area, we've got Folly Beach at 1.4. So as you can see, this time last year, we were at you know, under 500,000 for the entire um, MLS. So prices have gone up on average for the entire area by about, you know, 90,000, a uh, hundred, you know, it's, it's in and around, it's creeping up that way. So um, if you go all the way back to 2020, as you can see, um, our stats dropped in May, and that ha that was because of COVID. Um, and it took a little bit from the time that COVID was, you know, kind of announced and things shut down in February for those sales to kind of take a pause um, because of everything was going on. But you can still see in April of 2020 um, what our average sales were then, and for the entire MLS, it was around 375.7. Um, Somerville was around 280. Mount Pleasant was over 500, 550, and Folly Beach was around 658.8. So um, prices have gone up quite a bit in the last couple of years. That's no surprise to anyone, but I wanted to actually show you these averages because it helps to quantify, um, I think. So another thing that's important to look at is the average days on market. So Right now, we're still in and around three to four days. Folly Beach is a little bit longer at about nine days. Um, and you actually really want to look at the median. But out of curiosity, the average for, for days on market is like because you've got outlier properties that sit on the market longer that skew those results. Um, you're looking at about 17, 18 days, but um, you don't want to expect a property to sit on the market more than like two two days, three days, um, nothing over a week. Otherwise, something might be priced a little bit high. If that property is on the market over five to seven days, that might be an opportunity for maybe getting the property at asking price um, versus having to pay over, which if you look at the percent of original price, we're still looking at about 100 the average is 101 for the entire MLS. So still um, properties are closing for above asking price. Somerville's 101.5. So it's actually um, higher than the overall MLS and Mount Pleasant's even higher than that at 102.5. So just so that you can set your expectations that um, the demand is still so, like so very high. And so the number of buyers that are competing for the properties that are available on the market is what's continuing to drive those prices up. So it's not, it doesn't mean um, that you're not going to be able to buy or find a house. It's just a matter of making sure that when you go to put your offer in, that you know how to be competitive and we will help you with that. And on the flip side, when you're selling, um, you can feel confident knowing that if you're priced right, um, you should be able to demand more because of the number of um, buyers fighting over your property. So, um, of course, the interest rates are going up. And so that is unfortunately pricing some people out of the market. It's because it's just getting more expensive to borrow money. Uh, but that I don't want that to inhibit anyone. Um, we still want to make sure to evaluate your buying power. And that might mean adjusting your budget a bit more. It might mean renting short term for a period because the last thing we want anyone to do is to settle. Um, but if you are in a position to sell and you want to sell, um, this is a great time to do it. 
Um, one other thing I wanted to show you was our new listings. So you can see that compared to previous years, um, we are pretty on point. We're still a little lower than last year in regards to how many new listings we're seeing each month come on the market. Um, but that dip down in December was seasonal and you can see just like previous years, it's gone back up and we do have more inventory now on the market than we did, which is a really great sign. So more listings are expected to come on the market, especially this time of year, just in perfect timing for, um, all of our buyers that are looking to close in the summer, get settled with, you know, school seasons and everything like that. So um, if you have any questions about the market, what's going on, can you buy, should you sell, we would love to help you evaluate those decisions.